What is going on my friends? Welcome to the Southern Appalachian Mountains. Oh boy. What a cold morning. It's snowing, which is kind of cool. Just light little flurries. I am up on a mountainside right now going to fish for trout. And in fact, I have a really cool day of trout fishing ahead of me because today I'm going to attempt to catch a trout slam. There's a rainbow trout, brook trout, and brown trout all in one day. Check out these super cool waterfalls here. The stream just goes down the side of the mountain. And this is where I'm hoping to catch a brook trout. Brook trout tend to be up in higher elevations. I also have a chance of rainbows. And then later on in the day, I'm gonna go kind of down the valley and try to catch a brown trout in the main river. Believe it or not, I have actually never caught a trout slam before. You'd think with all of the fishing I've done. If you are new to fishing, any kind of a fish slam is just where you catch like all of the main species in one area. So for the example, we have you know, trout, but well, we have three species. If you can catch all of them one day, that's a slam. But then there are like uh, grand slams, black bass. If you can catch all seven, I think there's seven or nine, seven or nine types of black bass. There's like spotted, smallmouth, largemouth, uh, shoal bass, which are only in a few places, red eyes. If you can catch like all seven species of bass in one year, that is like a bass grand slam. South Carolina coast, if you catch a flounder, a speckled trout, and a redfish all in one day, that's their kind of coastal slam. So I think I picked the coldest day of the week to go fishing. Oh, look, look, the snowflakes are actual like, like the flakes, the, uh, like the real, uh, let me get my other camera. Wow, they're actual flakes today, like symmetrical patterns, not the just usual clumps. A lot of times snow just clumps up. That is beautiful. Anyway, I'm gonna break out some mealworms here. I don't use mealworms that much. These are popular ice fishing bait though. They kind of creep me out to be honest. There we go, probably not the best set up there but just a little split shot I'm gonna start off simple at first and then we'll get to some of these allures uh, like these uh, jerk baits and spinners and things all right just make my way down this steep trail got some cool waterfalls to fish some just not just mountain streams and rivers everywhere I think I'm gonna start right in this little area here and then work my way up to like that main waterfall oh my there's a dead a dead raccoon there. Ugh. Oh, something's been eaten on it too. Something just was eaten on the leg bone. I won't show that up close. That's pretty gruesome. Anyway, a little mealworm here. Going down, fishing in the snow. My first video ever. Fishing video on YouTube. I was fishing in the snow and I caught a trout. Move up here to the waterfall. Look at that. Lots of icicles forming. I would normally stand on that rock and fish it, but not today. Right in the waterfall. Oh, I had one, I had one. First cast in there. Yep, bait's gone. Bait is gone. I got plucked clean. First cast. I'm going to have to let him eat it. Got him. Hey, first fish of the day. A little rainbow. Number one knocked out of the trout slam. Look at that. Beautiful rainbow. I love the pattern on that guy. Wow. Ate that mealworm. There we go. All right, first fish of the day. That's why I kept missing him. <laughs> He's so small. Let's see if there's a bigger one. I think one of the harder fish of this challenge to catch is gonna be the brook trout. I really, really wanna catch one of those sooner than later. I feel like I might be working really hard for one of those. Got him. This is a better fish. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's a rainbow, 
This is a keeper. For this stream, that's a good fish. Woo! Look at that, hooked him right in the nose. Right in the nostril, beautiful mountain rainbow trout. Based on the teeth on this guy, I think this is like a 1,000% like a uh, wild one. It is not a stock trout. Oh, that's so hard. Look at his pretty fins though. Um, do I keep it or do I let it go? You know what? I'm going to take a chance and let this guy go and, uh, and hope for something else. Look at that morsel right there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cast it kind of right in the waterfall there. Got him. Oh, that was fast. Casting it right in the waterfall has helped. Another rainbow. But people don't know this trout really move. Like, um, in fact, I was talking to my buddy Aaron and he was talking about that he read a fish and game study where they tracked a trout and it swam two miles up a stream in one day. Like, they really get around. That's why you keep coming back to your same favorite spot over and over again and there always seem to be fish there, even though it's a small stream. You know, since I don't know how many I'm gonna catch on a winter's day like this, I'm gonna keep this one. Bring this guy over here. I'm gonna stick him in the bag and then keep him in the water. Boy, three trout in one spot on a winter's day like this, that's pretty good. I'm happy. Real glad I came here first. Bait's gone. I've been pillaged, plundered, and plucked. Oh, that's a big one. We got a monstro on this. Oh, big old mealworm. Got him. Oh yeah. Another rainbow. That's cool. That's cool. Four fish in one spot. That's really good. But no brook trout. I need the brookies for this slam. Another gorgeous fish, man. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. I love fishing. Even on a cold day like this. And since I came out here on such a cold day, I have this place all to myself. The conditions are adverse. That's for sure, but the fishing is phenomenal. Oh, I had him. I had him, but he got off. Boy, they are going bonkers over these mealworms. These are such a good bait in the winter. These are, oh, I cast way up in that tree. What in the heck was that? That was so dumb. I was about to start extolling the, oh, just hit myself in the chest. Had flashbacks of the crankbait in the mouth. Here, hooks. That's sad. Yeah, that's not gonna work. That's hurting. Uh, I just tried to pull it out. Just straight up. Whew. Man, removing it myself, that was uh that was a pretty bold move, but you know my adrenaline was going and my mouth was numb. It, it turned out alright. Got him. Got him. Right in that pasta. What is this? But it, ah, it's a rainbow. Man, I have a number five though. These mealworms are wintertime gold. There you go, little buddy. <laughs> right under the rock. They go under the rocks to rest when you let them go. That's another thing a lot of fishermen don't realize is trout hide under rocks. So that's why you can look down at a spot and be like, don't never look at it like a shallow stream and go, oh, I don't see any fish in there. There must not be any. They will be one under the rocks 100%. Got him. This is a little one. Is it a brookie? No, it's a little rainbow. He has some orange to him now. It's another rainbow. Six fish though. He wanted that mealworm, man. Absolutely swallowed it. We used to use those guys for bait for uh, sturgeon. Got him. On a little tiny piece of... I threw it back in there even though, ah, uh, another rainbow. Number seven, this is crazy. Seriously, how many fish are down there though? Good grief, I need an underwater camera down there.
Hey, how's it going? I was. Your subscribers? Oh, that's cool. All the way out here. Are you kidding me? You, from, I saw, met you on the pier. Yeah. What? I, I, I knew it. That's so crazy, guys. This is Asher. If you remember a few months ago in Destin, I met him out on the pier. That is so crazy, dude. Now I meet you up in the mountains. I remember you said you lived in the mountains of North Carolina. Yeah. Cool. What's your name, man? Alex. What is it? Alex? Alex. Alex. Nice to meet you, Alex. That is so cool. Yeah. Dude, the fishing's so good right now. Yeah. yeah they're they're biting. They stocked up there this morning. Oh, they stocked. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I haven't caught any stocked ones down here yet, but they'll make their way down. But yeah, no, dude, the fishing's on on fire right now. So cool. I was. You're gonna. Are you guys about to go up there right now? Okay, that's cool. Dude, I'll follow you guys. I was actually just wrapping up here. All right, cool, guys. We're gonna go upstream where apparently they stopped. <laughs> that is so crazy, guys. Meeting a subscriber I've met before in Florida. Oh man, this is a good spot, folks. Wow, I cannot believe it. Ah, what a great morning, man. Pardon me? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, you're Asher's grandmother. Okay, yeah, cool. Fishing, oh, that's cool. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'll, I'll see y'all. I guess I'll just follow you guys wherever the place. Okay, excellent. They just. Oh, the guy who. Okay. Yesterday, the one we watched, you was making that stew that was awful looking. Oh, the eating only what I catch for three days. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, thank you. All right, I'll see you guys up there. <laughs> This is so crazy, guys. They said they know the guy who stalks a place up here. Is, it, is this it right here? Yeah. Oh. Oh, excellent. Perfect. Oh, man, the sun's come out just a little bit, but it's still snowing. All right, guys, check this out. I just made these. They're not even, at the time of making this, they're not even posted to the store, but by the time this video actually is published, um, they will be posted to the store, so go check them out in the description. They have Ace on that side, Level Up in Real Life on that side, and I made 1,000 of them for these instances. Do you guys ever wear these? You don't wear them? Would you like one? Sure. Yeah, I'll take them. Um, they're not even in the store yet. I okay, just thank got these. Thank you. And they have, yeah, level up in real life on them. And uh, yeah, just got them made. I stopped to get me some corn fish and I did, it didn't have a pop lid. Oh. <laughs> so I guess I just want fish. You know, I have mealworms if you want. Mm -hmm. Tons of them. Well, he's and I have night crawlers. Real ones? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Real night crawlers. I don't know. I'll see. And this is, I caught, I've caught seven trout this morning. All of them on that, actually. Oh, wow. So if you want to fish, I've got plenty of bait. And I've got 18 night crawlers. I haven't even opened those yet. Oh, you all go ahead and see what happens. In okay, okay. Day. If they're biting, we'll let you know. <laughs> this makes sense. So the truck probably pulls up and uh, dumps them right in here. I don't see. Any, I think we should cast in no matter what, but they might have dumped him right there. All right, guys, so we've moved down here. Join them on this side. Hey, Asher, if you want, I have some of like the tubes from my tube tackle box. If you want to try like a more natural color, or I have we're experimenting around with like uh, the yellow ones to see which color like works the best. So there's a couple like prototypes if you want to try one. And we also have, also have like all these, well I guess not that one, but the natural colors. You got, ah, uh, you had them. Oh dude, I see so many down there. Guys, yeah, the, the stocking truck definitely stopped here. Hey, Asher just caught one. Sweet. Black and yellow too. On the black, oh yes. Excellent, on the Ace, what are they, Ace Stinger. 
Nope. Uh, guys, it's still an experimental state, so it's not available in the store. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I'm so glad that worked out. It's a good color like the uh, Panther Martin. Uh huh. But he, he wanted that. I know, he came out of nowhere and killed it. Too, yes. <laughs> hey, appreciate the endorsement there, man. Sweet. Nice little trout to eat. Cool. There's so many. That's, that's perfect eating size. Uh huh. It's nice to see you again. Yeah, nice to see you guys. Glad you stopped. Yeah. Thanks for the fish, too. Oh, yeah. One more thing. When are you going to be out with out with this one? Yeah. This um, this will actually be this weekend. So oh, really? even though I have a ton of vi Hawaii videos, edit, I'm just gonna take a break from the Hawaii series and like film it, edit a trout one. So yeah, yeah. Look, guys, look for it this week unless something changes. But uh, yeah. Hey, see you guys. It's good meeting you. Thanks for showing me the spot too. It's good meeting you too, Alex. You have a good one. All right, guys. We are gonna part ways. Uh, they're gonna go to another little creek, and uh, I'm actually going to go on a bit of a drive to hunt down hopefully some big brown trout but that was really cool though all right here we are i have left the mountainside come down into the valley this river um is really good for brown trout usually sometimes they can be tricky to catch though i'm gonna leave the smaller one in there and take the bigger rod now this has a little bit just a little bit heavier setup and six pound test instead of four pound test this is one of those rivers where like you can catch absolutely giant brown trout. I mean, people's like personal best is like six pounds or more. So got a nice little brown trout colored jerk bait on. First cast this new spot, better check my drag for this place. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, good fish, good fish, good brown trout. Yes. Oh, he's going toward the weeds. This is a strong fish, man. Good grief. Yes. Get him up here. Oh, it's barely hooked. Yes, guys, look at this fish. Look at the colors on this thing. Yes. Oh my goodness. You know, I'm gonna kind of keep him in the water. Look at this gorgeous brown. Look at that color. I switched to that jerk bait, got the other one snagged. Look at the red tail and the red, oh man, what a fish, what a fish. There's no way I'm keeping that one. Oh, I gotta get a picture of that, holy mackerel. There we go, easy peasy guys. <laughs> Look at the colors, wow. That is one of the prettiest trout I, I might have ever caught right there. The red tail and the, oh man, what a fish, what a fish. was a great catch all right so i got a brown trout and a rainbow can i catch a brook trout now look at this big log um it had a little bit of flooding as you can tell here and i think it may have turned on the fishing because it causes all kinds of stuff to get stirred up and so the fish want to face up into the current and just feed on all the stuff drifting down right in their face let's say if this is a fish this is a mongo nope it is a stick even though I get snagged on these sticks and stuff sometimes, it's just fine if that's what makes the fishing good. And do I have one? I think I just got it. That was a stick. There's like, yeah, <laughs> another one. All kinds of stuff floating down, but hopefully that's what's making the fishing good, so. That was weird. Oh, got him. Way out there on the long cast. Yes. Yes, yes. Oh, this feels like a good one. Of course they all do. These brown trout are pretty ferocious. He might be snagged kind of weird. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. I might keep this one if I can land it. It's another brown trout. Yes, that's a good eating size right there. Man, they all fight ferociously. That is, that's fantastic. All right. Yes. Woo. Look at that. Okay, you can see the color difference. I mean, I'm telling you, that last brown trout was probably the most beautiful one I've ever caught my whole life. This is their normal color. Yeah, I'm gonna keep and eat this one. Brown trout are very, a very sweet meat. They're, they're actually slightly sweeter than rainbow trout, believe it or not. Yeah, I just thought of this. I'll be able to do a wild rainbow, a stocked rainbow, and a brown trout comparison in the cook part. <laughs> That'll be kind of cool. Last cast of the day, folks. 
and then it's time to get cooking. I'm glad the days are getting longer at least. We're on the back side of winter, which is good. Don't have to rush around and have to be off the water at like five o'clock. Do I have one? I have one. One, another one. Number 10, oh shoot! That was last cast of the day. Ah, oh, what the heck. <sighs> shoot. Well, a nine fish day. That is nothing to be disappointed about. Now, let's, uh, let's get to cooking. Miss Piggy, good morning. What's cooking? What's cooking, huh? Yeah, how are you this morning? Did you chase any mice or voles or rabbits last night? Guys, a little uh, while back, there was a half a rabbit just laying on the deck. We came out in the morning. And <laughs> just literally half a rabbit <laughs> laying there. You're a savage. Are you hungry this morning? Have you not eaten anything? I've got some trout if you want to try it, huh? Yeah, yeah, I got you. All right. All right, let's uh, come over here. Here's a plate for you. Let's see, that's the stock trout. I think she'll prefer wild, you know? Clean these guys. Let's see if she'll eat the guts. But then let's take a bit of meat off here. You're, you're seriously gonna make me bring it over to you? You're not gonna just come over here? Wow. There you go, what do you think, huh? What do you think? It's wild trout, Miss Piggy. Fresh caught. Miss Piggy, don't be like this. Wow. So what, so you don't want fresh fish? You're a cat. You don't want fresh trout then? Let's try something. You don't want that either? Well, that's good. I thought that maybe you were just being ornery and you and you, wait, so you have fresh trout there and you're gonna eat your dry food. Oh my goodness, I don't know why I even try. What about that? I'm gonna cook all of these fish whole. Fry them up whole. I'm gonna use a use something that a subscriber has been wanting me to use. A little kind of subscriber re recommended recipe. All right, everything's cleaned up, looking ship shape. Got the three trout cleaned, and then I have here the guts. Let's put these on the side of the house with a little trail camera. Let's see what comes along to eat them. Watch, Miss Piggy's probably gonna be the one to find it. Look at these flowers. They got hit with the frost last night. They're all droopy, unfortunately. They might perk back up. They're usually pretty resilient. <laughs> so glad it's this time of year. I love spring. Oh, there's a squirrel. We've got geese over there and ducks right there. We got everything out. We got squirrels in the trees. It's a regular menagerie back here. Oh man, the river looks so good. The water's clear, it's not that uh, dingy winter color. You know what? Let's set it right here. All right, so back here at the house, Miss Piggy came back to hang out. Um, I'm gonna start cooking up here and I have something kind of cool here guys this is an idea when you catch some fish if you bring them home uh, just grab some already made fries at the grocery store 
a little canola oil. I'm going to cook these in canola oil. This is something you can just do if you have a bunch of fish, but you're wondering what sides to get. Just get the uh, some already made stuff. I know I cut up potatoes a lot of times in my videos, but you can also just get some pre-seasoned fries, and they are delicious. So shout out to Julian Sirizadi from Canada, Toronto, Canada, I believe, for giving me this idea for cooking the trout. He told me multiple times, dude, you gotta try honey mustard on trout. So I have here a Chick-fil-A packet of honey mustard. Uh-oh, I'm mixing honey mustard. This one's from McDonald's. Hopefully that doesn't ruin anything, you know? Miss Piggy, what are you doing? You like honey mustard? So you like honey mustard, but you don't like these trout. She doesn't know what she wants. I'm just gonna slather the whole thing, that honey mustard. And then I have just a little bit of a flour here. Um, it is slightly seasoned already. I'm gonna add a little bit of my first cat seasoning to get a little, oh. But I don't wanna overpower that uh, nice honey mustard flavor. Kinda drop it in there. Get that sticking to it. You can tell I scored the trout a bunch so that a lot of honey mustard would get in those uh, those crevices. Here we go, and just bread them up real nice. Clear the fries out of the way. Look what Miss Piggy did. She almost burned the fries. I have to get onto her. She got so carried away with the other stuff. She just made these extra, extra crispy there. It stinks having a cat that can't cook. All right, so we got some nice fries there, and the fish. I did end up cutting the um, brown trout in half, so it fit in the pan better. Yeah, if you're out fishing and like you, you catch a big striper or, or trout or something that you want to keep, and you're like, I don't know what sides to get, you don't have to get fancy. Just go to the grocery store and buy a big bag of fries, and they are a hit. We had a family a fish fry last summer. Just kept making fries and fries. Got a couple of bags of them, and everybody absolutely loved it to have um, fries with all the fish. Let's see. These ones. Mm, that's a good fry. Nicely seasoned. Okay. These ones are, you know, you know they're still palatable, but they're not great, you know? Yes. There we go. See, when I take over the kitchen, everything turns out well. If I leave Miss Piggy to it, she just doesn't know how to manage a kitchen. Yes. Oh, man. Crispy brown fried trout. One more piece. Lovely. All right, my friends. <laughs> this is a good, this is my kind of lunch right here. <laughs> All right, let's see which one's better. I'm gonna start with a small trout. And as a subscriber, Aaron showed me one time, he said, yeah, just eat them like a cob of corn. Oh man. So I'm ranking the trout and the honey mustard. <laughs> okay, so first of all, the honey mustard thing is a win. Thank you. Julian, he's a fisherman too, so I figured his tips would be good. Guys, honey mustard on trout is great. Let's try the stocked one though. Immediate taste difference between the the wild caught or the stock, and now the brown trout. We'll see which one's better. You want some of this, Miss Piggy? We'll see if she wants some in a second. And I got the uh, the fish back there. I wonder what's happening there. I seriously thought she might go back there and try to find it. I like eating them this way, just like. Biting it off the bones. All three cooked the exact same way. The best one is definitely the Little Wild Rainbow. 100%. Absolutely scrumptious. Miss Piggy, you want a bite? Hey, what? What are you doing? Why are you running away? Look, I got food. Yeah, yeah. 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 Wild trout. You can't. 
Why are you like this? You know what? I'm never feeding you again. <laughs> you know, cats hate hate trout. Everybody knows that. Cats, they don't like fresh fish. Well, my friends, I guess the last thing is, is I'm just going to wait. Um, I'm going to eat this feast and wait to see what comes along to eat the trout guts back there. I didn't know there was this much activity going on in my backyard. Check out this rock chuck. I didn't know this either. He climbs a tree. I didn't know rock chucks could climb trees. I thought they were just ground dwellers. And then this possum came, and of course they're scavengers, so he loved it. This is a roughed up possum though. Check out, his tail is just a stump. And his leg on the other side is kind of messed up too. In fact, I thought that stump was, it was like a stump leg and it, that's, that's where his tail uh, should be. Um, when he turns here, you can see how his leg is roughed up. He's been in a fight recently. Maybe even with this possum, this is another one that came along a little later, but he was a little late to the party and there was nothing left for him. This is a cool experiment though. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed this whole video. I really enjoyed making it. If you guys want to check out more, click on the screen there. I'll see you guys in the next one.